Details now on a story that we first broke at six. A man pushed off a subway platform in an unprovoked attack in Harlem. Then the attacker ends up on the tracks too and is electrocuted. News 4's Anjali Hemphill is live at the 110th Street 23 station with new video of that attack. Anjali? Yeah, Gilma, a man who recorded all of this on his cell phone says he is still in shock. And we do want to warn you, the video you're about to see is disturbing. A concerning scene at a Harlem subway station made Jose Ramos start recording on his cell phone as a naked man appeared on the platform of the Central Park North 110th Street station and began acting erratically. And then suddenly things turned violent. It was a tragedy. Jose's camera captured the moment the naked man grabbed a hold of a nearby person and hurled them onto the tracks just as a train was approaching. We've stopped the video because the scene is too disturbing. I saw a fight. One guy shoved another onto the train tracks, and the train was going to run him over. Ramos says he was able to flag down the train operator who stopped just in time. But Ramos says the men continued to struggle on the tracks as a third person, a good Samaritan, jumped down to help. The guy jumped in to help the person on the tracks, and the naked man jumped towards the third person to fight with him. He couldn't, and he slipped, and he hit himself on the train track, and he stayed there because he got electrocuted. Investigators say it was during that scuffle the naked man somehow made contact with the third rail and was electrocuted. He died at the scene. The two others involved were taken to the hospital but were not seriously hurt. Meanwhile, this is at least the fourth time a person has been pushed onto subway tracks since November. Ramos says he's now traumatized after what he saw. And he's hoping more will finally be done to make it harder for people to put others in danger on the platform. I still feel some pain because of what happened. It's a strong sensation. Police say the man who died was emotionally disturbed. They have not yet released his name. We're live from East Harlem tonight. Anjali Hemphill, News 4 New York.